tuned in to see this. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you know it's coming out. Just get ready for it. It always amazed me, and I've said this before, that uh, Scavs has probably casted this matchup like, you know, 50 times. 50, 50 is generously low. Yeah, like, it's probably probably it's, higher than that, but you know. Yeah, I Every mean, time I watch him, he's like... He's still enthusiastic about yeah, it's it like, somehow. It's like the narratives are hot. Yeah. Hey, at this, who knows? Maybe Dexter will take it and win his finals, and then ZD uh, has a chance of losing it. I f I'm just going to say it, though. I think ZD is more prone to losing than Dexter is, and like to someone else who's not, you know. You think ZD is more prone to getting upset? Yeah, I think ZD is more prone to getting upset. We did okay. see like the beginning when we started coming back in 2021. Dexter was getting upset. It seemed like by the 17th seed every week, and then he started picking it back up. And it seems like he never loses anymore to people who aren't ZD. But uh. ZD will just sometimes, he will sometimes just randomly lose. No, it always disappointed me about Dexter. Not, I mean, he he goes to very few majors. He's only been to two, well, two outside Maryland. And that yeah. down smash is going to take that, by the way. I mean, like, I don't know. He always underperforms, at least to what I want him. Yeah. Dexter, we, we all know how great Dexter is. But it seems, yeah, you're right. He underperforms quite a bit at majors at times. We saw him uh, at SmashCon kind of with a definitely uncharacteristic. I don't know. I think he may have placed top 256. I don't know if he even did. Uh, but, yes, Dexter's also only played three total tournaments outside Maryland. It's one to, one to be known. Two Smash Cons and then, like, one cave weekly, I think. That's, yeah, you should be dead. dead. Yeah, uh, ZD has been having this... Both the Foxes, honestly, have been having to either side be slightly above the ledge or up B at such an odd angle. At that point, the Wolf just has to poke his foot out. Don't make fun of me. Down tilt's a really good move. That's a pretty good... I, I think, in a, you know, a long time I said that move is probably his worst, but uh, I've come around on it. What do you think is his worst? So no, he doesn't have a lot of those. He doesn't have a bad... I don't yeah. think he has a bad move. I'm almost going to say it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to dispute that. Uh, like, He's got a lot of good moves. Like, I think I would argue that makes him very well designed. Other people would argue that makes him carried. But, you know, he's he's definitely a top five character, in my opinion. I will say that. Oh, my God. Hold on. No. Oh, yeah. Going to be able to make it back. I think Wolf has a lot of really good strengths and not particularly a lot of weaknesses, especially none that are, like, you know, breaking him as a character. He's a, he's a really well-rounded guy. He's got a lot of flat uh, matchups. I think, uh, I think that's what makes him so good, in my opinion. He, Not... In my opinion, he's the new Palu. You know, he shuts down, like, any mid-tier, except maybe, like, Ridley. That's weird, because he's been around for a while. Yeah, I think it's just... I, I think that just certainly shows how strong top tiers were at the beginning of this game. They should be dead. Yeah. Yep. And... Yeah, we're gonna... Let's be honest, we're only gonna hear Pokemon music for pretty much... Probably not until like you know, we'll probably see it during the next set we're gonna see counter picks but do you see that tweet it was by that pac-man who was like he was mad about wolf and you know i don't know oh, sinji yeah did you see that tweet i did and i agreed with it <laughs> i agree with it a lot the part where you like that tweet i, I like i like let me i didn't read the whole tweet i like was I it was it a joke was it satire maybe it was maybe it wasn't i agree i i, I agree with the energy of it the energy the energy wolf hate is always appreciated in my eyes well so like i'm okay with hating characters you can do what you want especially if it's funny it's, it's it was very it was a very funny tweet like yeah. ironic or unironic it was funny either way i will say that well the part that worries me is the part where it's not a joke like if it's a joke that's it's, fine yeah to, to not keep the viewers in the dark. It's the one where he said uh, he was mad that there weren't any really very bad losing matchups for Wolf. And he said, I think I, uh, tell me if I'm misquoting him here, he said something I, along the lines of, uh, the only way you beat Wolf is outplaying him. You can never, it's never the character beats Wolf. And I read that and I went, well, that was a dumb tweet. And then I thought about it more and I went, is that the dumbest tweet I've ever seen? And then I went, wait a second, this might be a joke. We've seen dumb tweets, let's be honest. Maybe it's a joke. Maybe it's a copy pasta. I don't know. I hope it is, because for my sanity's sake. Yeah, it's Smash Community. I have to, let me find this tweet exactly. But, you know, we have not been talking about this set whatsoever. I mean, what do you want? Game. It's, 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 ZD, it's ZD Dex. We do this every, every week. 
You got something to enlighten me on, uh, I'll be all ears. Right. People complain about Steve then when Wolf exists. The character only has like four slightly losing matchups, and even his losing matchups are super doable. You can never I... beat Wolf because the character you use beats Wolf. It's always I had to outplay the Wolf player. Nice confirmed by ZD. Yeah, it, I honestly agreed with everything you said up until that last set sentence that made me sort of lose I mean, my sanity. Like, I understand, like, like he's he's kind of spinning. Do you know, like, any. Like, you, you play that character, right? Oh, yeah. Does he Wolf have any like actual losing losing matchups? Like minus one or My, minus anything five? anything minus one or beyond? Like I think. Like, uh, yeah, I do. I, I do think so. What do you think? <sighs> like, is there? I a, mean, th this is kind of tough for me to talk about because I'm not good enough. I mean, you know what? Actually, I'm tired of know, saying you're, that you're, because a wolf, you're a wolf player. I feel like at this point, some your opinion matters quite a, a little bit at least. You know? Like really? Hmm. Like, I can really only think like. Wolf seems like such a well-balanced character, and we see it quite a bit with the success of Rob. ZD and Dexter. Rob, I can see. Okay. Hold Honestly, oh. Lucas. That's that's a take right there. I don't. <laughs> but you know what? Here's here's what I think, because my opinion doesn't really matter. But I've been hearing top players and their opinions, and their opinions suck. That's so true. Top, I, if they get to spout really bad opinions, so do I. That's the way I feel. Hey. There I've been hi holding them in too high a regard, I think. Don't meet your heroes, kids. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to see ZD take that leave, then they're up smash there. And you know my favorite top player thing is like when they talk about regions and they all sound like the exact same people. Oh, it's, Sova, they're so it's just, campy. It's, it's, I feel like I feel like there's just like a big sheet top players have of yeah, like yeah, complaints yeah. about said region. It's like Mad Libs. They just like take one out, put one in. Oh, West PA, they're so mashy. Bro, Southwest Arkansas is such a camp fest. So oh, Southwest, Ar don't even get me started on them. Oh, I can't stand them. <laughs> CD taking that out with Nub Smash. Really camp fest. Having a strong lead now, but could lose it. Yeah. Ooh. And there's the Wolf Down Smash. I usually don't see ZD get upset at Dexter. Yeah, that's true. ZD and Dex play a lot. I feel like uh, it's they're definitely... They definitely respect each other a yeah. lot, and ZD is definitely a player that we do see a bit of energy I think from. Fox and Wolf, they got that, like... They got the bond at this point, yeah. especially, you know, these two, how often they fight on book, on this green greeny stage. It's... That, it's we, yeah, you're right. We don't see a lot of ZD necessarily reacting, uh, vis, like, visually mm -hmm. to stuff in this. Do you think a thought goes through their head in this matchup, or are they thinking, like, what they're going to eat after... Bracket, and it's just all autopilot. It just, it could. Oh, what I think there's a bit of th more thinking than there's more thinking than a, uh, I guess, like than a mid-level player will usually think. Okay. However, it's not even close to like their full brain power. So yeah, they're probably like half playing and like half thinking about what they're gonna get from Denny's at night. Like that was insulting to me, but it was also very true. Like, so I couldn't, couldn't quite dispute it. Hey, I'm just saying the new age of, of all is literally all advantage state, no neutral. And speaking okay. of advantage state, you're gonna get that Nair up smash. Uh, hey, do you think you're gonna counter pick? No, I don't. You don't? I don't God. think they're gonna counter pick. Yeah. I think they're gonna run it back, back to PS2. PS2. And it's, it's PS2 until. Because they're two the, honorable samurais. The world's gonna blow up and they're still gonna be playing PS2. Yep. That's the way I see these two. They're just, you know, they're locked in an eternal struggle. Yeah. They. Yeah, once again, these two have, are like close to 200 sets in this, in this game, which is quite a bit, quite a bit. It's a lot of sets played. Actually, wouldn't surprise me if it's over that. However, I'm probably wrong about that. And yeah, you're right. Eternal struggle between the two of them. Honorable Samurai, only going to play PS2. Man. Dexter is really good at using his aerials. Aerials? Yeah. He's really just good at keeping out players in general. If you only time I really see him get punished is when he's on the ground. Although, to be fair, that's like Wolf when he's at his weakest to an extent. Yeah, they carry advantage very well with their very good players. Uh, they also mess each other up off stage really bad. Oh yeah, Dex is also really good at his timings. I feel like he's like the one person in the region who can actually punish uh, the Fox player's slightly angled uppies. He goes out there too, and 
that's always impressive for me because Wolf going out, that's not his zone. He like, doesn't like going out there. It's like, a bad place for him to be. Yeah, well, you'll, the most you'll see from a Wolf is like, you know, a narrow back air. Yeah. But you're never going to see them go for a dare unless it's like super, super safe or they're already dead. But Dexter will just go for it if he knows he's going to kill with it. Dexter knows how to make checkmates off stage. Ba yeah. Basically, he'll only go off stage if he's almost certain that he's going to get it. Yeah. You watched in game one that little check with the down tilt, and he already knew. He basically was a read. He knew exactly when he was going to Firefox, because you got to be off the platform that quick to get the down air. Gonna get the back. Throw. It's equally risky, to, too, because if you get clipped by that, you're likely going to die. Mm -hmm. That was a max, like, that was max distance from CD. Make it back. It was still hard for Dexter to punish it. Couldn't. Back throw? Nope. Yep, not gonna die from it though. It seems like after that first game, Dex has not been able to punish ZD on these recoveries at all. And you're tough timing. Should dead? be dead. Nice. Yeah. Because you kind of drift for a little bit after the uppies done. Mm -hmm. And there's no hitbox there. So at that point it's just a layup. And can, I, you, can you believe we're going to another game five with Dexter and ZD? Could you have predicted that? I never heard of that before in my life. Although, realistically, knowing ZD, there was a good chance he just kind of pulls something out of his ass and just wins. Oh, yeah, he does do that. But, you know. That, he had enough time to charge that. I think that move was like minus 30 or something. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Out of range. That was really bad. You're dead. Nice. And yeah, we're talking about it. Going out there, he knows. It's just, like, it, he's done this enough. It's just rinse and repeat at that point. I don't know how he always hits it. He's just that guy. Dexter is just that guy. Yeah, I guess so. And we're going to see Wolf Fox once again. Honestly, I, you're lucky. If you're watching this right now, you're lucky you're in such a good region. I said it. I hate Yeah, I mean, you do learn quite a bit from these players. Granted, if you can actually, you know, put it into uh, use. How many other regions have, you know, like, I, I regret to use this word because, you know, people are going to use it against me, but to fund these characters. Fund these. Fund these characters. Ah, Constantly I mean, winning. Uh, true. You, we, we could be SoCal and have, like, 50 Meta Knights or something. Yeah, we could be Georgia and have, like, you know, all the Roy's five... Five Roy's versus five Ken's or something. Yeah. Honestly, I think we should start just region wars. Yeah. Oh, you gotta come to Western Minnesota. Dude, we got nothing but Palus and Marths. Bro, the North Dakota, actually I can't, North Dakota people, my boys, I can't do that to them. You got North Dakota boys? I got North boys? Dakota boys. Shout out to Aaron. Dang, that's deep. But like, I mean, just like, just probably like Central Wyoming is probably dummy nasty at this game. And if we make fun of them, one of them is just going to completely destroy ZD at a major or something. I got roasted in my first ever Smash Con. I lost to some guy called Buffalo from Wyoming. And they were like, how do you lose to a guy from Wyoming? He doesn't even have electricity. And I go, oh, you're being silly. He's probably pretty good. <laughs> no, he, he has they to probably travel have five scene. hours to get the travel five hours yeah. to get to the next power uh, outlet. Oh, and falling out of the up smash there. Uh... Multi hits in this game are really funny. Yep. Just ask Sleepy about that. He loves that. Oh, yeah. But ZD with a nice little lead. You know where he puts Pikachu right now? Where? He's, he puts it like top 15. At, like, this is at best. At best. Wild. It's a wild opinion. But it's and, you know, opinion. I would love to say you're wrong, but I keep beating him. So I got to say, you know what? You got me. I think you're right. Look, Pika is a weird character. I think we can all agree Pika is good. Yeah. However, Dexter, that side B, having to land on stage was not the best option. I don't... I think he just was stuck between a rock and a hard place there. Yeah, that was the most I've seen Dexter upset in a while. Yeah, Dexter not necessarily want to show motion beyond kind of spinning in his chair. So if you're... Yeah, if he's you got the ADHD chair. Yeah, if you like see him put his hands up, you know that he's not happy about it. But yeah, like, Pika's a good character. No one's going to deny that. How we don't see many uh much Pika these days, and it's definitely uh, changing people's opinions of the character. Can you uh, get back to stage, please? 
how are you going to get? See, can you get back to save? Dexter and ZD are both fantastic ledge trappers. Trying to get off the ledge against them is one of the there hardest things in this game. All right, get back to save. You thought fighting Steve was bad? No, get off the ledge against Dexter. Get off the ledge against ZD. Even Dexter was ready to get up. He's he has he no was he has no faith. Okay, Dex fell out of that fair and fell back in. Yeah, Dexter is he's still in it. And Wolf can steal games. The problem is you fine. The problem is you can't overcommit. You can't hog the ledge for that long. That's gonna be a uh, three-two coming from ZD. Classic uh, game five set between these two in winners finals. I love that stuff, I'll be honest. You, you may not have thought I loved that because I didn't talk about it much, but there wasn't much to say. It was just two players playing really well. Yeah, then well, let's, once again, these two have fought countless times. Realistically, you could probably toss on any Dexter ZD set. It'll yeah. be the same experience. What do you want me to extrapolate from that? Oh, he's got 